Hey, my YouTube friends, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about three small cap AI stocks, BBAI, C3AI, and ACMR. If you're interested in any of that, don't miss the content in this video. So the first, let's talk about BBAI, Big Bear AI. Big Bear AI is a small cap AI stock that comes to my attention and maybe many of your attentions uh, because it often shows up in the search results when you ask ChatGPT or uh, Copilot, what are some of the small cap AI stocks recommendations? And BBAI often comes as part of the result. I guess partially because in its ticker, it actually has AI as part of its ticker BBAI, right? Uh, let's take a look at this company and this stock to see if there's any hype, any like momentum possibly in a upcoming tra trading days that can give us some opportunity trading this stock. So from the past three months, uh, looking at the stock's performance, it actually uh, traded now at a relatively low, if not lowest point, around $1.8. And it had a pretty significant surge just uh, one and a half months ago, around uh, March the 4th, 2024, reached uh, a, a recent high of $4.4 or $4.5 per share. And now this company is sitting at a market capital of just $436 million. And if you look at the latest news about Big Bear uh, AI, we see it's going to release its uh, financial report first quarter 2024 results on May the 2nd, uh, 2024. Could be a date that for, for people who are willing to like trade the stock, that could be a date of momentum. It's totally possible there could be like two digits surge after it reports a better than expected financial results, but it could also be a two digits plunge if the results come out like cooler than expected. So lots of volatility ahead, just like in one or two weeks. Let's take a look at what Big Bear AI is doing. It says it's a like AI intelligent solution company. It provides solutions in a few industries, the supply chain management, national security, digital identity and professional services. It emphasizes its business in the um, supply chain management industry, as well as government and defense, travel and transportation, manufacturing and warehouse operations, healthcare and life and sciences. If we're further looking into the industries Big Bear AI is in, uh, in the supply chain management, it claims that it eliminates bottlenecks, optimize production and make data-driven decisions for a streamlined and more efficient operational environment with our artificial intelligence supply chain management services. That's where the AI piece come into play and they want to emphasize their artificial intelligence, uh, the role in their decision making and in their uh, supply chain management business. So leverage automated workflow solutions integrated with AI, ML and analytics to bring intelligent automation to complex enterprise workflows. I, I think this is their next emphasis and like the uh, business grows, they're betting big or relying on this part of the business to grow. And also a big part of their business, the BBIS business is national security related. So BBAI brings over 30 years of experience delivering capabilities into operational environments for critical missions. They've been proudly support the national security missions through the DOD, Department of Homeland Security, the intelligence, intelligence community and their national security forces uh, centrally aligned with the federal government's national defense strategy released in 2022 includes uh, three as aspects of services and solutions. Then the most important part, let's check out the financial reports of BBAI in the recent quarters. Um, it highlights a few things at the very beginning, but what I'm more interested in is the financial highlights here. So it says that revenue grew 0.5% to 40.6 million for the fourth quarter of 2023, compared to 40.4 million for the fourth quarter of 2022. So basically no growth uh, in the first quarter of 2023. Gross margin 32.1% increase from 29.2%. That's, that's good, that's better, 10% increase in terms of gross margin. But still, this company is still in the net loss territory, net loss of $21.3 million for the fourth quarter of uh, 2023, which includes $9.4 million of non-cash expense related to the change in fair value of warrants that were issued in 2023. Okay, so um, 
they mentioned a few new developments of BBAI in the, la- in the last quarter of 2023. And the recent quarter, it emphasized a few like important agreement or contract with its customers. So for BBAI, it's definitely the definition of a small cap AI stock. I guess they want to emphasize the AI, how AI plays the role in their latest like uh, supply chain management business. But traditionally, like the 30 year long business of BBAI is national security related. I think most of the revenue or the important contracts come comes in from a few customers. If VBAI strikes a big deal that that has a very big impact to its like total revenue, considering the total amount of its uh, quarterly revenue around like forty million dollars, but unfortunately, this information are not transparent to outside investors or traders. So there's almost a no chance from public information, public channels, we, we get to know enough information to make those kind of decisions to either buy or trade BBAI ahead of financial reports or ahead of when they disclose their recent contracts or their recent plans. Based on those thoughts, I think BBAI, there is some potentials there, especially in the next one or two weeks, we're closing to their 2024 Q1 financial report release. Uh, But it's very, again, it's very risky. It could surge high and it could plunge two digits as well. Personally, I don't want to trade BBAI at this moment, mostly because there's less less transparency of its contracts or deals with its customers. But remember, there is a a potential window the next one or two weeks uh, before the financial results of 2024 Q1 comes out. There could be some some tendies there, but it's uh, very risky as, as well.